What's up guys, my name is Bryce and welcome to Bryce Games and today we're going to be playing Maze, so let's get started. Alright, so you guys have been asking me to do a longer playthrough on my channel, so I figured this could be a really cool game to do it on. The story behind this game is that you wake up in an abandoned cornfield and all of a sudden you see talking corn. It's really confusing, but apparently this game is supposed to be really funny, so I figured I would give it a shot. Also, apparently there's supposed to be a talking teddy bear, so I'm really excited about that, so let's just hop right in and get started. Oh, well, hello there. What the heck is going on? Wake up. What just happened? Oh, that was a weird way to start the game. All right. Oh, it's the talking corn. Hello, talking corn. Oh, 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 okay, bye. Uh, wants to walk around, mouse to look around. All right, so we are here. We've made it into this weird cornfield thing, and this is a really pretty game. I'll start that off just right at the beginning saying that like, holy crap, this looks so good. I love it. All right. So I guess we got to start off by just walking into the cornfield and seeing what on earth is going on. The music is really weird. Got me a little bit unsettled, but I'm sure, I'm sure this will be a very interesting game. No idea what's going to happen, but I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun. All right. So right now I'm just on a lovely stroll in the cornfield. As you can see, we got a nice little silo over here, barrel over here, and this is just absolutely beautiful a giant ring in the sky that's a little strange but that is much stranger what on earth is this thing oh i did a thing okay so we got a we got like a hand a dna thing and then a weird circle oh, oh okay so we got a magical door in the middle of the cornfield i'm a little confused as to what that is but apparently there's a house this way Okay, so just so you guys know, this is a puzzle game. There's supposed to be lots of puzzles for me to solve. And escape or P is to enter the pause menu. But as I was saying, this is a bit of a puzzle game where I'm going to have to sort of try to figure things out. So if you guys want to help me and let me know what you think I should do in the comments, that will be very helpful because puzzles are difficult. I don't really know where I'm supposed to be going. I'm just having enough trouble with puzzles of trying to figure out which way I'm supposed to go. This is a little bit confusing getting a little bit lost in the cornfield and pressing Q does absolutely nothing and they are correct I am pressing Q and it does nothing <laughs> all right so as I was saying this game has a lot of puzzles and stuff so it's gonna be pretty cool if you like puzzles and apparently it's got a lot of just weird humor and stuff to make things a little bit interesting sort of how Q does nothing and other weird stuff like that all right so what do we have here we got a, a English muffin hey why did the corn just take those boxes away you did great picking up an item, a new path was unlocked. That's good. I don't know why Corn decided I could go this way now, but that's that's really great. What is this? Item added to folio. What what is that? Oh, I should I should have read. Oh, we got a little welcome note. A note, lazily scribbled, includes a stock greeting and encourages the reader to enjoy the complimentary snack on the decks. Uh note to reader also says to mind the boxes and said Open the big door and we'll probably say hello. Well, okay then. So now I have a lovely little muffin. Can I can I look at my muffin or something? Oh, there we go. English muffin. Hard as granite. This muffin is most definitely nowhere near fit for consumption, despite how much you try. All you've done is give yourself a headache. Oh, I'm just trying to eat this little, this expired muffin. It's just so delicious. All right, well, I guess we'll go this way. I think the corn wants me to go this way and... Who am I to deny the corn? Press E to examine the equipped item. I already figured that out. But thank you, game. You're you're very kind. All right, so let's see what on earth is going on over here. We got some got some nice little trees, and it looks like looks like we got a little windmill over here. So let's check this out. Oh, we got some boxes. Oh, oh, I tried to jump. That's not what I meant to do. So apparently, I need to find certain items and things for the corn to move the boxes out of the way so I can make it to different areas in the map. So it's sort of going to force me to be in what area I should be working on, which is helpful because I would probably get really lost otherwise. So I assume we're probably trying to make it to this little house over here. And I already figured out how to get into the folio. Okay, so I really like this. They got the, they got the different little markers over here to let me know how to make it through the corn maze. So we got the door over in that direction. So let's take a look at this little house over here. See what on earth is going on. If I knock on the big door, they should let me in. So we'll see. When you see the place icon, you can use an item. Click the left mouse button to use your equipped item. All right, I'll use a muffin to get in. I can just break it with the muffin, right? No. All right, so apparently I cannot get in the house. Even though I knocked, they said they let me in, but apparently not. Maybe we can go, maybe we can go this way. Is there something over here? 
No, just boxes. Okay, so we need to figure out how on earth we're gonna make it inside this house. Not really sure what's going on right now. Do I have feet? Not really sure where my feet are. Also very confused about this, but I'm liking this game so far. It's a little bit weird, but I like it. Sort of reminds me of Stranger Things, just how things are, things are a little bit weird. Can I, oh, I can crouch. Can I open this? No, all right, so I, I guess I need to find a way to maybe open the basement. Maybe I can get in there. All right, so is there a way in? We got a sink over there, which is very helpful. Maybe this door is unlocked. No, I don't think so. All right, so I guess I'm gonna go in this direction. See, maybe I can figure something out over here. Maybe, maybe there's a way in. Maybe they have a key for me. Oh, yay, I opened the chicken coop door. Dudes, I'm just so good at this game. I'm so good. Oh, oh, we found the key. All right, equip inventory slots by using the scroll wheel or the one and two keys. Nice. I'm guessing this is probably the key to the house, but I'm gonna take a little bit of a look around to make sure we don't miss anything. Cause in this kind of game, it's very important that we look around and pick up everything that we can. All right, so it looks like this area is probably, probably all good. So I guess, I guess I'm just gonna head on back and head on inside. Can I pick up this? No. All right, so let's just head on inside the house, see if we can figure out what's going on. Not this door. Okay, let's try the other door. Oh gosh, what are you? What is this thing? I'll get back to the door in a second, but what on earth is this thing? Oh gosh, you are very strange looking. All right, so we have a weird statue of a chubby man over here. Not sure what's going on with that, but I'm so glad I came out here. It's like 10 out of 10. All right, so over here is the windmill and we can't get to it from this side either. Is there anything over by this chubby man that can help me out or is it just, or they just really want to show off the chubby man to me? I guess they just wanted to show me this chubby man. Oh, and a thing, a broken shovel handle. I'm sure that will come in handy. Thank you, chubby man. I appreciate your gift to the cause. All right, so let's head on over here and see if we can't open up the door. Let's get my key and head on in. Nice. Oh, that's such a satisfying sound when I get the right item. All right, so let's look around. Oh gosh, it is really dark in here. I don't like that. All right, so we've got an invoice for a carved wooden statue. All right, what is this? An invoice for a commissioned wooden statue. It's in the hundreds of thousands, why? Oh gosh, items on the list include chopping down a large oak tree, carved statue out of oak tree, and hospital bills for injuries sustained chopping down oak tree. Well, all right then. All right, so as I said, the humor is gonna be a little bit weird. It's sort of a weird game in general, but apparently this is supposed to be pretty funny. Also, I really wanna know where my teddy bear is. I was told there was a teddy bear in this game, so I'm a little bit disappointed that I haven't found it yet. Also, we've got a really boring mystery novel, so let's see what's in that. All right, so having no talent in the genre, the author mistakenly revealed the murderer's identity on the first page and spent the rest of the novel outlining a story about a detective buying a pair of pants. Sounds like a fantastic book. Thank you, thank you for sharing. All right, so let's look around, see if we can't find anything else. I'm gonna use my crouch a little bit. Oh gosh, I don't think there's anything in here, but it's really dark. Oh, what is this thing? I like how they have the, the things outlined so I know there's something there. All right, so we've got a sausage grinder with something jammed inside. But apparently, apparently I don't really have anything to fix that. So let, let's look around. We got a fruit crate. Uh, that is not the button to pick up fruit crates. Uh, and what, what, do, what do I do with this? Despite what the name would suggest, this crate was specifically used to hold a large number of pine cones in order to start a collection. The collection currently sits at zero. Well, thank you, I, I guess. All right, what is this thing? We got rancid corn oil. Nice, that is not the right button. There we go. Uh, though the smell is strong enough to overcome a herd of yaks, that you could use this to loosen something you need to remove. For some reason, an image of a gloved hand pops into your head, leading you directly walking straight into a wall. Uh, uh, okay, that's a, that's a little bit weird and oddly specific. I assume I'm gonna need to find a hand at some point. Uh, we got a bathtub plug, nice. This particular plug fits perfectly into the bathroom sink on the first floor of the farmhouse. It also is a talking plug, but due to a bad case of laryngitis, you'll never know that. Okay, all right, so apparently I'm supposed to use this in the old sink, so there we go. Well, I'm now the sickest plug, so I guess I did something good. I don't know. I don't know why I plugged this sink, but apparently I did. So we got we got something in the medicine cabinet. We got some nail clippers. Vigilant as you are when it comes to personal hygiene. The only two things these clippers will do for you are grip something lodged into a wall and give you a 100% tetanus guarantee. That's it. 
Well, well, all right then. All right, so as you guys have probably noticed, every time I pull up an item, it gives me a pretty good hint as to where I'm supposed to be using the item. So the bathtub plug told me that it was supposed to go in here. That's how I knew how to do that. And apparently all of them are gonna sort of give me hints so I can figure out what on earth is going on. Cause without the hints, this would probably be a very long playthrough. All right, so what's, what's going on in here? Press C to crouch and C again to not crouch. You can do this forever. Well, all right then. So I assume there's something. Yep. There's something I can only see by crouching in here. Unlock the secret door, making it much less secret. And I open the secret door. All right. So we got a secret basement going on in here. Nice. All right. So what is this thing? A uh, fuse box, which is missing a fuse. So I assume I'm going to have to find a fuse and a lovely painting of a man. Very confused by this. I think this game would be much better if they'd hurry up and give me my teddy bear, though. Oh, okay. So this is how I open up this part so i can make it in and out easily all right i see i see what's going on oh this is cool i'm really liking this game so far it's kind of weird kind of a bit strange but i like it i like it all right so let's head on upstairs and see if maybe we can find something else maybe a fuse or something that'd be pretty helpful all right so let's just head to the upstairs area see what's going on all right do we have anything over here doesn't look like it so let's head on into some of the rooms oh gosh i'm like climbing up on these boxes going crazy Oh my gosh, this is a really, really pretty game. I'm liking it so far. This is, this is good. This is good. Is there anything under the bed? You hiding anything in your room? I don't know what's going on, but there's something right here. We got a bobby pin. Nice. What do I do with this? Extremely useful for picking a lock, but you mistakenly thought it was a pencil and wrote a very detailed of your day up to that point. And didn't notice it that there was no ink until a few hours later. Dang it. Oh man, why am I so stupid? Oh, that's a bummer. All right, so... I'm still very confused as to what's going on, but I guess, I guess maybe, maybe these rooms will help me figure it out. Oh, what is this thing? An item can be placed here. Probably the fruit crate. And what do, what do I do with this? Oh, oh, I forgot to look at the broken shovel handle. Uh, completely useless for shoveling dirt, but helpful if you ever wanted to tip something over. You immediately think of the wardrobe on the second, well, that's convenient, on the second floor of the farmhouse because you didn't particularly like how it looked at you, and you'd like to ruin its day. Oh, well, well screw you, wardrobe. Tipped over the wardrobe with a broken stable handle. Nice! <laughs> Apparently I'm a genius, so that, that worked out pretty well. All right, so is there is there anything else in this room that I can maybe use? Anything interesting? Hmm. No, it doesn't really look like there's anything in this room, but I guess... I guess we can maybe check this bathroom. Why? Why are there so many boxes in your bathtub? What is going on here? I'm so confused right now. This is a very, very strange game. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, but... Yeah. All right. So let's, let's head on over here and see why I knocked this over. We got... Oh, we got an upstairs area. Okay. I see what's going on. I see, I see. Oh, there's something over there. Let's go grab that. Got a nice little box. Can I see anything interesting? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, this place is really big. I like that. I like that. All right, so let's go grab this item over here. What, what is this thing? A burnt lab report. Why'd you put that in the toaster? That's pretty strange. Much of it can't be read, but the words abject failure appear several times. So does hurt feelings and sentient corn stalks and... Why did we do, why did we do this? Why? Why did we do this? All right, so I still have no idea what's going on, but apparently they did not think they should have done whatever they did. Oh my gosh. The sentient corn's gonna take over the world, guys. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready. I like to eat corn. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you are terrifying, Keemstar. Oh man, that was, that was crazy. All right, what's going on out here? Just, just another area, fantastic. And what is this thing? We got a mallet, and an item can be placed here. Can I, can I place any of my items? Hmm. This is gonna be a lot of trial and error. I can, I can already sense that. Apparently, I'm just gonna be trying random things and hoping that maybe something will work. What are these things? Oh, this is weird. We just got some carrots and turnips and stuff. Oh my gosh, they've been doing some crazy genetic engineering with all sorts of vegetables. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. All right, so I think I found everything there is to find in the house at the moment. So I'm probably going to go out and try to explore just a little bit more to see if maybe I can figure something else out. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go, but I assume we'll figure something out soon enough. Teddy! Where are you, Teddy Bear? Oh my gosh, I wonder where Teddy is. No matter how many times you press it, 
Q still does nothing. All right, so I guess I'm just gonna randomly press Q for some reason because it seems like a good idea. And apparently we found a porta potty. Don't know how I made it to the porta potty, but fantastic. All right, rusty nail jammed in a wall. Oh, I can use my uh, my nail clippers. Yes. Yeah. Pulled the rusty nail out of the wall with the nail clippers. Let me let me look at this now. For some reason, the first thing that pops into your head is that it would possibly be a good conductor of electricity. Possibly a fuse. You are very strange. Apparently I am, but apparently this is my new fuse. Is there anything, is there anything in this outhouse? Teddy bear. Teddy bear, are you in the outhouse? Oh my gosh, a mediocre rock. Okay, why, why did I grab this? This is a rock you found near an outhouse. You don't know why you have it. It is absolutely mediocre in every way possible. His name is Chauncey. Well, okay then. We ha we have a rock now. I was gonna name him Charles, but I guess I guess Chauncey's okay. All right, so I guess I'm gonna head back to the house now and use my brand new fuse. Hopefully, hopefully that'll help me out, and maybe maybe we'll find Teddy Bear. I've been really missing Teddy. I hope he's okay. I don't know what's going on with him, but I really I really hope I can find him soon. All right, so let's go down here, and now we can use this as a fuse. Boop. Use a rusty nail as a fuse against safety regulations. I'm a, I'm crazy, man. I don't care about safety regulations. And boom! Restore power to the farmhouse. It is slightly less dark than it was before. Indeed, that is how power works. All right, so let's go look around. See if maybe I can find something that I couldn't before. I still have no idea what I'm supposed to do with this sausage grinder. Um, can I maybe use my bobby pin to get it out? No. Can I use the corner wheel? No. Muffin! Mallets! No. Huh. Alright, so I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with that, but maybe we can- Oh! Here's the thing. Okay, uh, CD player. Nice! Open a CD player, and there's a CD! You picked up a CD! Good for you! A new path has been opened to you to the barn and the silo. Nice! Oh, it's a top secret DVD. What does it say? It's an old CDD! Oh, it's an old CDD, yes! It's an old CD! Label faded. Pressed on the first batch of CDs ever created. This brand was notoriously expensive and even more unreliable, making even the greatest symphonies sound like something a concussed elephant would make while stumbling around in a music shop. All right, so we have a top secret CD now, so I guess I guess we'll probably use this for something. Not really sure what, but I'm super glad that I have it now. All right, so let's look around. Is there maybe something in this room? This room was super dark the first time we were in here, so maybe, maybe there's something in here that I missed when it was really dark. No, it doesn't really look like there's something. So, I guess maybe I'm gonna go check out the barn in the silo now, because I'm not really sure what else I'm supposed to do. The barn looks like it's right over here, so looks like we're going on a little bit of a trip. I'm not really sure what is going on. I'm still very confused. It's telling me how to sprint, but I already know. But I'm really excited to find the talking teddy bear. I'm also really excited for, like, the action to start picking up. I'm ready to see some talking corn, guys. I was promised talking corns and teddy bears, so... I might be really disappointed if I don't find any of that. All right, so before I walk into the barn, I'm just going to take a little bit of a look around. Uh, may maybe take a look on this path, see if there's anything over here before I go into the barn. All right, so we got a little tractor over here. Uh, we got Tow Mater. Tow Mater, the tow truck. I'm looking at my CD. Uh, not really sure why I'm over here. I can't really go anywhere, so... You know what? Maybe, maybe I'll just go back to the barn, check it out, and then after that, I can progress. I'll take a little bit of a look on the outskirts of it. But I really want to know what's going on inside before I do anything else. All right, so we have made it to the Great Kidney Care Barn for some reason. I, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm just so confused. I feel like I've said I don't know what's going on like 50 times now, but that's about how I'm feeling playing this game. I'm just very confused. The music keeps reminding me of Stranger Things, so I'm a little bit nervous. I feel like something's going to jump scare me. I don't know what's going on, but I like it. I like it. It's really weird, really strange, but... For some reason, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it just as much as I am. Uh, we found a book titled, Corn of the Worlds. Item added to Folio Arts. A book outlining the differences and similarities of corn species across the globe. Several chapters also discuss the color yellow. Cause, cause why not? A few species are circled in a red pen, while no, no, no appears in many places across the entire book in blue pen. Well, 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 okay then. That's that's very strange. Thank you for sharing. Oh gosh, I'm just so very confused right now. I guess I guess I'm gonna head upstairs see if maybe maybe I could get something useful. So far, this barn has sort of been a bust. Not really anything that helpful here. 
Hello? Teddy bear! Teddy, oh, we found a broom! Nice! Up, oh, that is the wrong button. That is also the wrong button. All right, here we go. There is a pile of something or other that you can sweep up with this. But you already knew that. What you didn't know is that this broom is haunted. Because why not, man? This will not affect your adventure in any way. As the ghost is currently away on business. I mean, I know, I know how busy those ghosts can be. So that makes sense. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. There's like, there's like a little hand over here. Very concerning. I, I, I was wondering if maybe this would be for the, uh... For the door we found, but it doesn't look like I can actually interact with it. Oh, what is this? We got one half of a diagram. What is this? A diagram torn in half. Contains very complicated looking equations scribbled in orange pen. A drawing of a person and a DNA helix. It looks very important. You tried to eat it at first, but you changed your mind when you couldn't find any socks. Oh, socks, yes. When you couldn't find any salts. Man, I am a very strange person. It would be weirder if I couldn't find socks, though. Oh my gosh. What? What is this thing? <laughs> Get pumping. That's right. Thank, thank you for sharing that lovely photo with me. Very glad. Oh, nothing in here. Um, all right. So it looks like we came to this barn just to find a broom. Fantastic. I just really needed to sweep things up. This place was looking way too messy for me. So I just, I just really wanted to clean things up. That's all. That's all I really wanted. All right. So I think my next order of business is going to the silo over here. And seeing if maybe I can figure something out. Because right now, this barn was not helpful at all. So, maybe the silo will be a little better. It looks like we got a power plant in that direction. But for now, we're going to go to the silo. Alright, what's going on over here? We got, we got a lock. Can I use my bobby pin for this? Yeah! I'm so smart! Fantastic! Alright, let's open this up. Oh, we got a telescope. Nice! I just grabbed the telescope. Just threw it in my bag. Don't even worry about it. All right, manufactured about a century ago, this telescope's effective range is the top of low-hanging trees. So good, so good, I'm glad I have this. Possibly because its lenses were put on backwards. It looks like it was used frequently with varying results. Well, okay then. All right, so what is this? Oh, I assume I need to use the broom for this. Let's just do that, there we go. Cleared a pile of corn kernels with the broom and now we've got some pliers. Let's take a look at this. You saw something in that sausage grinder that could be removed with these pliers. You know this because you spent an uncomfortable amount of time trying to pull it out with your hands, making no progress whatsoever. All right, so apparently this is how I'm gonna get the thing out of the sausage grinder. That shouldn't be too bad then. And what is this thing? A weathered, tattered blueprint. All right, what, what is this? Though it is hard to make out, this blueprint looks like it is for a the construction of a very large, very poorly planned facility. Uh, with a farm situated on top of it. The facility itself actually sets an architectural record for having the largest number of corridors that lead absolutely nowhere. Fantastic. 10 out of 10. And we got a little message on it that says, why did we build all of this? That is a good question. All right, so apparently the government built like this secret facility and put a cornfield on top of it. I can't believe it. Can't believe it. Apparently the government is trying to make sentient corn. I don't know why the government wants talking corn, but... Apparently, apparently the government's doing some weird things. I'm very confused. Can I go? Can I go through this? No. I really want to go through the corn, but apparently that is not an option. Right, let's go over to the electricity thing if I can. I'm not sure if I will be able to, but I'll at least give it a shot. Stop pressing Q. Hey! Hey, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh! Oh! Well, hello there, um, Miss, Mr. Mr. Man. You look a little bit like Einstein. I like your hair. Like I'm just dancing on top of this dude's bodies. It's fantastic. All right. Oh, oh, is this the hand I'm supposed to use? Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. All right, so now we have a severed hand. Fantastic. What, what does this say? A gloved severed hand. A severed hand. Perfectly preserved in the glove that encases it. It could come in handy if you give yourself a hand and find a way to loosen and get that glove off. The first part was intended, but not the second. Well, sure it was, game. Sure it was. All right, so it looks like we have a hand now. Absolutely fantastic. This man is just looking so good. Just, you, you look great, bud. You look great. Can I, can I, oh, yes. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, what is this thing? A very fashionable fedora. Fantastic. What is this? A very fashionable fedora worn by a very fashionable person. Due to this, you are not putting it on your head as you have not earned the right. On the inner tag, the owner wrote his name, Fernando. Well, okay then. All right, what, what is this thing? A charred name tag. What does this say? 
It took several hours of staring, but you managed to deduce that the name tag, in fact, belongs to the dead person it was near, and that his name is Fernando. It took you several more hours to notice that the dead person was a lab assistant, and five more minutes to realize you were trying to read the whole thing upside down the whole time. All right, so apparently I am a genius and learned that this man is named Fernando, and apparently he's very fashionable. I mean, just look at him. Look at that face. That is a very fashionable man. All right, so apparently he got electrocuted by whatever this thing is. It's a little bit confusing. I'm, I'm, I don't know what's going on, but apparently I don't think I want to touch it because the other guy died because of it. All right, so I just took a quick look at the area and it looks like there is nothing of use here. So it was really good meeting you, Fernando. Very nice, very nice to see you. But for now, it looks like I'm going to head back to the house and try to use these needle nose pliers to get the thing out of the sausage grinder. So I'll see you guys when I get there. I have to say that I am really enjoying this game so far. I didn't know what to expect when I first got into it, but this is actually a lot of fun and hopefully guys are enjoying it just as much as I am. All right, so let's take a look and grab the thing out of the sausage grinder. Uh, I pulled a warped key fob out of the sausage grinder. Not an ideal place for it. Okay, um, what, what am I supposed to do with this? This warped key fob would be useful if you could flatten it back to its original shape. At first, you tried to do this by staring at it very hard, but this did not work. You set out to find a tool that will do the job much better. Oh, 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 I know what to do with this. I need to take it upstairs and use the mallet on it. I remember the little thing on the table, so let me just get right over there, and I should be able to flatten it out and use the key fob. Here we go. Boom, and now the mallet. Yeah! The key fob has been smashed good and flat. Nice! This key fob has been smashed so perfectly that you can't help but toss it like a frisbee to see how far it goes. You regret your decision immediately. Now, that indeed was a very stupid thing to do. Oh my gosh! Look at these ones! These are so weird! He's so angry! Look at that one! It looks like he has a little angry face like... Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't, I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm so confused. So very confused. All right, so I think the next thing I need to do is probably get the hand out of this glove. So I think that, I think that what I have now, the, the three things that I needed to open the door were the, I needed the hand, I needed the little, I think I need this key fob, and then I need the old CD. So if I can get the hand out of the glove, then maybe I can find a way to open the door. All right, so I just remembered that the cornstarch was apparently very good at getting things loose. So let's put the cornstarch in the sink over here, and then, we can probably put the glove in there. Yeah! There we go! Loosen the glove from the severed hand. Slightly disgusting. I'd say that's a little more than slightly disgusting, so... Let's take the severed hand and see what it has to say. Once you manage to tear yourself away from giving yourself an unending stream of high fives with this hand, you may want to find an actual use for it. And it's not to start another round of high fives. I mean, to be completely honest, if I had another hand, I'd probably be giving myself high fives all the time because... High fives are pretty great. So I think now what we need to do is head on back to that strange door in the middle of the cornfields and then we can probably open it up. So how do I get there again? Oh, here we go. It's over here. All right. So I'm really curious what is going to be in this magical door. I'm really hoping that it could potentially be Teddy. I've really been missing Teddy. I was promised Teddy Bears and Sentient Corn. So if I don't get Teddy Bears and Sentient Corn, I'm going to be very upset. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what's going on anymore. All right, here we go. It looks like we've made it to the magical door. Let's put this hand right here. Then we'll put the key fob and then the old TV. Nice! Well, that was a little disappointing. What was that? Hello? Hello? Teddy? Hey! hey. Teddy? Is that you? Hey! Oh! Hi, Corn. <laughs> Look at all. <laughs> you must answer a riddle before you're allowed to enter. <laughs> <coughs> Look at all that corn. A doctor and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Say the one about the guy who hung himself with an ice block. You just gave that one away. <laughs> answer this one. What animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring. <laughs> I'm, so I'm riddle president today. I get to pick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Why is he oh, president right, every man. time? Oh, I didn't <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, <laughs> <didn't help> <laughs> that. <clears throat> What's going an on? An empty bus pulls up to a stop and ten people get on. At the next stop, five people get off and twice as many people get on as at the first stop. Okay. At the third it stop, 25 get off. So... Which one of us is named Jim? Am I Jim? I thought he was Jim. No, that's Bill. What? Where's Bill? <laughs> You're Bill. Oh, that's right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. 
Let's hope you're better than the last one. Oh, okay, okay. well, it's good meeting you, Talking Corn. I'm very, very confused. What, what, is, <laughs> what even oh, is this Oh, and watch out for our brother down there. He's a bit odd. What? Well, that was unexpected. I think that is probably the understatement of the year. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to have to end this first episode here. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this game because I'm certainly having a ton of fun with it. So, hopefully, you guys are having a ton of fun watching as well. If you guys want to see the next episode of this series, you want me to continue, then make sure you give the video a like because it really does help me out a lot. And let me know in the comments down below that you guys actually want more because I'm only going to be continuing this series if you guys want to see more. I've been told that the next part is really funny and a Apparently, Teddy Bear might be making an appearance, so if you guys want to see Teddy and you're excited for this series to continue, make sure you like and leave a comment so I know you guys actually want more. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all in the next video.